Hello guys and welcome to our channel, this is Beba Roll. In the latest update video for our Druid roaming build, we talked about everything. It was a full guide going about the weapons, the traits, the gear, the choices, how to use it, rotation, uh, tips. I really urge you to watch it, it's about one hour and I couldn't make it any longer, people will not be that interested. So I went through everything, I'm not gonna go through it again, obviously this is just a complementing video to it. And in this video I want to talk about what I consider the only room for choice, because now it have, the changes to the ranger have opened a lot of choices in a way. We interested in the skill department. And in my opinion, and I explain in the video why, all those skills except this one are stuck. You can't really change them. If you change them, you always have a worse option. Unless you need a specific skill for a specific reason, you can't really change anything. Every skill of those, comparing to other choice, will be the stronger option. Even stun break, this is the shortest cooldown, so anything else will give you a longer cooldown. And it gives you the mobility, the ability to cover up your stills or movement, something like that. And remove uh, mobilize and condition uh, damage from you. So it is the best option. Again, there is a lot of defensive and offensive ability come with Glyph of Equality. I talked about the roots, the healing, you can't really change them. If you change them, whatever the version you have is a weaker version. The only skill that gives you a huge room for change, because you can choose either survivability or damage or something like that, because the build have to adapt to the current changes, is this one. In the video, I went through options that offer the damage or at least trying to balance the damage that we would lose if we change something like sharpen stone and the survivability we would gain with other option. So I said Sharpen Stone is still the best damage that you would always want to run if you don't need the survivability, but I went to Signet of the Wild and compared it also to Glyph Alignment. In this video, I want to compare every other choice and tell you what you will get from it and what you will lose and when to use it. I myself run uh, long tests. I have used every option possible to compare how it feels, how it adapts to different fights, stuff like that. And I can summarize the choices into three categories. A full damage skill that we can still utilize for survivability, which is Sharpen Stone. A balance between damage and survivability, which I would say is a Glyph Alignment and Signet of the Wild. And a full survivability choice that we can still utilize for damage, which is Signet of Stone and Protect Me. Any other choice is simply not worth it, or you have one of those choices to be better. For example, Traps, they are still full DBS, they have no survivability that offer, which means Sharpen Stone is far superior to them. Maybe you could argue Spike Trap will offer you a little bit of uh, survivability comparing to others, because it's a CC, so you can still do a little bit of damage and control to your enemy, but it's less damage comparing to Signet of the Wild, and it doesn't cleanse condition comparing to Sharpen Stone. And either ways, in very high outnumbered situations, it will be triggered with probably one player, no one else will eat the CC, and there will some break and so over. Especially some people will be ranged, some people will be melee. Unlike the Signet, for example, it will keep producing the immobilize behind you uh, in the area itself, and you can move on so other people can step in it, or you can line of sight, stuff like that. So even with the shorter cooldown, I still think none of the traps actually were taken. Once uh, there was no uh, stealth on traps, after the introduction of relics and stuff, traps became even much weaker than they used to. And even very strong stun break like Signet of Renewal would probably either kill your bit or you would have to switch your bit after removing the condition and that depends on your bit not being far away or immobilized far from you which can really create a problem. So it's not always uh, easily usable. And remember now you switch your bit to save them from this or switch your bit to cleanse condition or switch your bit for your own rotation like projectile defense or you want the ball of Iboga and you can switch them also to cleanse condition from this trait and now you would switch your bits to save them from this skill that's even have a 35 second cooldown which is quite high so I never find Saint of Renewal is good enough besides if you really want to cleanse all this condition with one skill like 13 condition uh, in one time then you probably really put yourself in a difficult situation. You have still enough condition cleanse to combine with your movement and uh, ability to kite around and play well that you really don't need such a skill uh, anyway. So I don't find this one as valuable as the other option we just talked about. The spirits are either weak for whatever value they offer, you get the point. Everything else will not really be the same value. And lastly, I would say Sikkim in case you need it or any specific skill in case you specifically need it, like you're chasing a thief out of your tower or something like that. 
So let's start with our current choice, for example. Signet of the Wild is a bit of a balance between damage and survivability. You can cast it under the enemy or near it in melee, even while entering Sisti Avatar to this enemy, or combine it with other skills like Glyph of Equality to completely lock the enemy and offer a lot of damage. So you can cast it like that even while entering Sisti Avatar because it is immobilized. You can cast it behind you and simply walk so people would stab into mobilize and can chase you. It's the same idea that we used to use with a healing skill for a child of earth, but it's stronger on the immobilized side. The passive part of it is the ferocity doesn't have any value to us since we are condition build in general. It have a long cast time, it have a long cool down which combine that with the small radius of 240. If you're chasing people and trying to lock them with it unless you really got the head of them, it become hard to land which is a problem I really noticed with that. Let's say I didn't enjoy as much. You can also use it in the bigger the groups to make them immobilize for your people also to start bombing them immediately. You have the easier version which is a glyph, shorter cooldown, shorter cast time, but it's a single cast even so it offer you uh, almost bitter because of weakness but you either hit it or you don't land it. And it can offer another version inside Celestia Avatar which is condition cleanse and healing to everyone around you, it's decent and it's have a bigger radius in general. However, it the cast of it depends on the Celestial Avatar form. If you're inside Celestial Avatar, it will do the healing. If you're outside, it will do the damage. So you have to end the cast before you enter or leave Celestial Avatar. And like I said, it's one hit, so an Aegis will remove it, a Blind will remove it, and that also is a downside to me. But it is fairly close, so it depends on what you really want. If you value the weakness because how annoying it can be, you might run this. If you value the stuck immobilize in a way and the ability to kite better with it is a signet. And if you compare that to something of full survivability like signet of the stone, it can also be used the bigger the groups to nullify damage completely. It opens a door of survivability that cannot exist without it, especially around zergs. And since you can run it and take no damage while having it, you can simply cast in it and start casting skill 5 even among zerg and you most likely will survive. So you can use it to defense to kite and save yourself and you can use it offensively among other players to nullify their damage, which allow you to land skills that are otherwise hard to land. Like we said, Droid can become stuck and you have to defend yourself through lowering the damage. How about you not taking it at all? And that's a huge value I found for Signet of Stone, so it can help your damage through allowing you to be free while casting skills that otherwise hard to cast. Yes, you will not have the ability to immobilize people behind you and walk away, but that means you simply pay more attention to something like the use of Entangle or even the healing to immobilize people behind you or even skill step 4 or even casting uh, Lunar Impact uh, on people behind you. So you have other options, but you will mix that with the ability to nullify damage completely. The smaller version of this signet is Protect Me. Protect Me will lose more value the more the enemy you fight or the higher the damage they produce. So if you get stuck around and you can get the barrier and protect me. But if there is too many players, you corrupt the, your protection or remove it they go or burn through the barrier too fast so the value become extremely small comparing to not taking any damage or power damage from Saint of the Stone. On the other hand, if the enemy are not too much, the barrier will uh, sink in some of the condition damage also. It will not only nullify your power damage, it will nullify you of any damage that coming as long as you still have some of it. And it is a stun break which make it the most balanced version if you inclined to go with the survivability style. So you get protect, uh, protection that will heal you. You get barrier will nullify some of the damage. You get even shorter cooldowns than the signet, 40 second cooldown, only 3 second uh, nullifying damage, and it's a stun break to you and your allies. So even in a solo play, it can stun break your bait to land your CC, uh, like a boga or something like that. So protect me was quite decent, and the protection healed you, by the way, from uh, the trait uh, rug gross. However, the downside to it, uh, and even to the signet of stone, there is no source of damage at all. Uh, comparing something like uh, this signet, you can have even the ability to cleave your enemy, a uh, downed enemy, you make people stuck and they all keep eating your damage. But if you go something like um, protect me, you lost all the damage. And remember, we comparing all our choices with the original choice, which is Sharpen Stone. And Sharpen Stone used to be a significant spike of damage. So protect me is very good uh, when it comes to 
survivability you add an entire stump break again to the build to compensate for stability so it can offer some decent value to you but like i said you compromise your damage completely again the same with segment of stone now another choice is quickening zephyr quickening zephyr is a survivability skill which will allow us to remove condition from us it can offer some decent survivability because of the super speed you can run very fast even for a short time it can offer you quickness to either survive faster or do damage faster so let's say you are trying to heal the quickness will cast the healing faster uh, let's say even you're trying to cast this skill instead of this long animation it will be faster because of the quickness and it can really mess your enemy up uh, if you play tricks with it let's say for example you're casting skill 5 in Celestia avatar it's around uh, two seconds and a half but actually with the entering uh, precast and after cast it, it takes more than three seconds and a half to the entire thing to happen until the black hole appear so let's say you started casting it so the enemy is timing their dodge with the last ball trying to stay melee or something like that you can cast this skill mid casting of your own and speed up the lay, late portion of it to make it even happen faster you can even since the quickness go to your bit you can land something like a boga ball even faster stuff like that so the enemy will not be able to time its skill well because he's not simply reacting to quickness the quickness happen in a point and disappearing on other and even with something like the auto attack you can simply cast your skills faster like that and uh, as you can see here everything happened faster in my own skills so it can be used for some interesting tricks it can do some decent extra damage simply because of the quickness even from something like an auto attack it can v give you a valuable pressure uh, it is a condition cleanse it's still another stun break and to offer you a little bit or close play to protect me and think of stone when you're trying to cast a skill like this uh, because it will happen faster so you can start moving as soon as you can to survive and avoid more damage while stationed st staying stationary now after comparing all that uh, all those choices let's compare them to sharp and stone sharp and stone offer you 10 stack of bleed which is skill you can cast off cooldown because it will keep a stack on you as much as the cooldown itself and you can start landing those 10 stacks and guess what like five seconds left then we use it again and this value will make it not actually a 30 second cooldown because you're entering a fight what you, it is on you I always almost cast it off cooldown when I use it so let's say I start a fight now which means I can land 10 stacks of bleed and if he removes them I have like 14 seconds or whatever to start landing them again which means give it almost um, which also happen inside the fight itself let's say I'm kiting I'm trying to survive and the line of sight or whatever I use it off cooldown like that and then I stand here say, waiting for the enemy to come it already burning some of the cooldown and I still didn't land it so it even so it have a 30 second cooldown you will always feel um, the time between actually landing your burst and using it it's much lower like 20 or something like that and that's why it is very significant in damage comparing to any other skill because the way you use it not only how much damage it produce it is also an instant condition cleanse just like bit swap and just like weapon swap are the only choices we have now it used to be an instant condition cleanse However, it's, I wouldn't value the condition cleanse as much because you need to be focused on it or you will keep just, like I said, spamming it off cooldown or most of the time at least, which means you lose the value of the condition cleanse unless it's simply accidental and it just an extra value in the fight. So it's still very good. It still can be used from range. It still can be delivered through other skills. It's still the best option when you're simply trying to spike damage the enemy. You can lose some damage and end up with only melee choices with Glyph of Equality, with Glyph of Alignment, or uh, Segment of the Wild. Both of them can immobilize the enemy, so allow you to run in a defensive form, and even give weakness if the Glyph and this one create an area of immobilize, or used in an offensive manner in melee to catch the enemy and start casting other skills. Or go full survival mode, that will help you uh, time your skills better, or even uh, give you a breathing room, which is something like uh, Protect Me, and signet of uh, stone quickening zephyr is probably my least favorite even so it offer also similar value when it comes to damage because the quickness itself and you can cast your skill faster and even condition cleanse and an extra stun break just like protect me but i would value the barrier and protection survivability more than simple quickness uh, that will not offer anything else other skills i not interested in running anything 
um, even spike trap maybe second if i'm really annoyed at a thief or trying to get rid of them or something like that so i would replace something like glyphosate quality or uh, the signet one of those two in a way but just that's just temporary all other choices are yours run what you want i myself are not stuck with signs of the wild i run different choices and let's say most of the time i'm still running uh, maybe the signs of the wild or sharpened stone something like that if i need the damage this one is clearly uh, cannot be compensated now let's give some examples from different fights and how they actually play through and what would happen if you were running something else for example so as you can see here i'm using signet of the wild and i cast it under the people so to catch them with immobilize for my um, zerg or my people to start bombing them immediately and start casting my own skills so we will become stuck it's basically like a mobilized druid this is not a zerging build clearly uh, i'm simply using my own build uh, to help around and that's another comparison signet of stone is the only thing allowed me to survive a situation like this uh, not noticing that they will change direction at me but I still can survive because it's a save me button and another aggressive form instead of surviving I use it and I cast freely and I ignore the damage they apply to me because I can survive it and I land a Celestia Avatar skill 5 complete however this is another example why I'm telling you Sharp and Stone have the highest aggressive form of damage because you can bowl a lot of cooldown from your enemy with that amount of spike it's only fail when the enemy have some insane level of uh, survivability like uh, too many dodges too many cleanses so you feel like using it and this accidentally cleanse it like they don't even waste this much resources but in general it offers the best spike in damage and this was a more hands-on fight against thief and you know how much cleansing dodging and avoiding damage a daredevil can produce but the sheer amount or the spike that can happen in a very short time from uh, sharp and stone can mean the difference between a fight that will end or a one that will never end and as you can see here even so the fight was much longer and the way you see how it's ended it's simply a spike which the daredevil couldn't avoid and couldn't cleanse that otherwise would not even happen if i didn't have sharpen stone and that's another example against a willbender while i don't have sharpen stone i have the signet as normal and it's an example also in the struggle with the signet the small radius the long cast time uh, comparing to a class that have superior mobility to you can easily mean you don't land the damage of it and with too much resistance in many classes the willbender is one of them because of the f3 and uh, engineer have a lot of it warrior have insane amount of it uh, people can simply walk out of it without landing much damage and it doesn't even get them stuck so you can't control their position as much so it have some downsides in some fights and some amazing results in other fights. Like I said, there is no perfect option anymore when it comes to these choices. And this is an example on Protect Me or the, the use of skill Protect Me uh, when you can actually uh, use it to allow yourself a breathing room, land your hits better. Uh, not having to kite at all can soak in some damage especially that the fight is not as big when people can burn through it easily but again if you use something like protect me in this second fight and you have no way to catch people and no way to spike them from far like if i have sharpened stone this wellbender will be already dead if i had even the signet i might be able to either catch him or immobilize the uh, berserker that's chasing me to prevent him from keep seeing me and delaying my chase to the willbender but protect me is simply a stun break it can't even cleanse condition or give me stability or anything so the tankiness it's offered me it didn't compensate for neither my damage or my control which is a downside to running either protect me or signet of stone in some fights you become very limited in how you can catch your enemy how to damage it or how even to keep people away from you now here is Quickening Zephyr against another druid and I will show you an example on what I meant when I said you can really mess up the animation for people with the quickness mid animation so people don't really count the timing right or to dodge your skills as you can see here when I'm landing skill 5 and I use quickness mid the skill itself but like I said it, I don't feel much value like I don't have as much damage as that something like sharpened stone um, it is good to run away, it is good for quickness to damage, it is good for condition cleanse, it is a stun break. So it is a decent uh, skill uh, overall, 
but you can't be stuck in place while using it as much uh, as a signet or uh, protect me um, and you don't have as much damage as something like sharp and stone so it's a decent balance in between if you want to use it so that's it for the video uh, I hope you like what you watch it or find it helpful so tell me in the comments what is your favorite choice run if you focus on survivability more damage or you want a more balanced option what's your version of this build and I'll be seeing you next time peace Fresh